this director information was called to the parliament. And it was asked to him, okay, he explained uh, what he has done, and what he has done, he spread a lot of uh, ideas, let's say, he spread news, uh, that a certain bank was in a bad situation. Okay, this caused an enormous um, amount of people going, taking their money from this bank. Okay, this is, from my point of view, intrigue, more than something, something else. Um, okay, the book. Could be translated in the T and tenable lightness of communication. And uh, my wife was an expert on communication, and she was the, the communication consultant of the Olympic Village during Athens 2004. And uh, she told me that uh, this would be a case study in the Olympic Village. June 1999. Now I go inside the Olympic organization, inside the, the enterprise who built the, the Olympic village, and I will continue with a lot of topics which are fiction based on reality. It happened, but the names are not here, make sure and the things that happen inside the organization. And you will see why the name of the book, the title, is The Lightness of Communication. Radio station from Canada, in an interview with the Director of Communications of the Greek Olympic Committee. It seems that there are several timings which are late and the, EO, the, the EA, EO, IOC will present a yellow card. This was four, four years and six months before the Games. Uh, Katrina was on the left, in the middle, the president of the Greek Olympic Committee, uh, Iana uh, Angelopoulou, which was a extraordinary woman. This, is a, this was the situation of the Olympic village at that time. It has six months of construction.
January 2004. The Olympic village of the athletes is, was the bigger public work of the Games. The biggest investment of the state for the Games with a total post-Olympic use. It was officially opened in the absence of the President of the National Committee. This is the first error, the first point. The President of the National Committee was not in the opening ceremony of the Olympic Village. Second point, a crisis happened with one of the sponsoring entities. National scandal with a deteriorated yogurt of one of the sponsors. The marketing director asks for the substitution of the sponsoring director. The first problem inside the organization. Another point, inability to organize the games then started, as, as uh, now in Brazil is happening, started the media, started with a big communication campaign, saying, ah, oh, they will not be able to organize the games. Three years later, we have a president of the National Committee who claims to be very concerned. This term, is a very subtle uh, way of telling the president what wanted to tell that he wanted very much to do the things, but the media interpreted in another way. He was concerned, he was preoccupied. And a big campaign was spread about, okay, the president is preoccupied, we are paying a price of gold to a president who is very concerned, so how should we walk all that, moreover, will, pay, will we pay the bill? The Prime Minister has to answer questions of the citizens for his choice of the president. Then, the country will profit from the Olympic Games. Marketing director, the National Committee, has to open up the labor market and provide a great opportunity and so on. One cannot speak in marketing with, without communication. And then he gathered the two domains, which are naturally not gathered. Then there was a scandal forged by a newspaper and the inside campaign of the director of marketing continued uh, attacking his enemies, inside enemies. You have in your red uh, dossier this story of the wooden cross, which is synthetically the following. There was the, a New York Times journalist, important, Elena V, I suppose, who came uh, wanted to visit the, the village and a uh, journalist, uh, an expert journalist told that the photo journalist that the best would be to be in a sorry, crane to go up with a crane and to be very sufficiently high to see all the, the, the buildings, the construction. They went high, 25 meters high. They were, they were bound to the platform, the three communication director, the journalist and the journalist of the New York Times. They were bound to the platform by a steel cable and Elena, the journalist of New York Times, did not look pleased. She was a very critical person, always saying again and again against uh, the preparation and so on. 
Then, Elena did not look pleased, looking around suspiciously. 25 meters high, a true mirador in the center of the village, she asked to go down. The journalist uh, asked for a few minutes more to take pictures, 25 meters high, and they began to go down slowly. At 5 meters high, the director of communication sang out to the crane handler to stop the device. Elena panicked. Broke down. No, I just would like to hear your impression before reaching land, said the director of communication. And everyone laughed except Elena, that was pale. The engine retook off immediately for the platform to reach the ground. The international renowned, a renowned a photojournalist took a picture with her leaving the platform. Director of Communication. Aha, a memory of the largest Olympic village, which will be completed in six months, six months before the Games. And made with heavy construction, smiled the Director of Communication. Already, I had warned you that here in Greece we work seriously. Okay, then uh, other stories in the book, uh, like the Chinese coming and uh, the director of communication told them, asked them. We allocated houses to beneficiaries of social housing. Can you imagine, we, a capitalist country, allocate the Olympic village to the lower classes and you to the upper classes. Your regime remains communist. Let's say our communist regime is our way, was the gentle answer to the translator translated. This is Prince Albert with my wife and the architect of the Olympic village. This is my wife giving uh, uh, Remy giving the, the village officially to the president of the Olympic Committee. This is the final Olympic village, which is a magnificent, what we call in Portuguese, villa. It's not a village, it's more, it's a villa. It's an enormous quantity of buildings which are allocated now to the Ministry of Labor and Social Security and occupied by people with less resources. Okay, the book is available in Portuguese in Amazon from Amazon.com. My mail is this one, Rui Hotmail.com and I finish with Buddha. And this Buddha painting has a property. When you walk from one side to the other side of the painting, he follows you with the eyes. That's all.